You could visit him? I could what? He went to yours when... You could visit his grave. You haven't. <laughs> I'm not the one staring at that. You know. Sometimes you're an idiot, Grayson. Morning, Alfred. Richard? You know more than anyone that being a leader has a cost. You needn't shoulder it all alone. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, at times, you can be much like Bruce. I'm nothing like him. Of course not. So unlike him, you would never push through an injury. I'm fine. <clears throat> See? Knowing when to take the help that's offered is a sign of a good leader. Flowers for your parents have arrived. Oh, right. Guess it's time then, huh? Yes, Master Richard. When you're ready to visit their graves, I'll have the car ready. Thanks, Alfred. And book me some time for Haley's, please. I'd like to see how everyone's doing back at the circus. That's a marvelous idea. So where am I off to, Belfry? By cross-referencing the isotope in the key with Gotham architecture records, we've managed to narrow it down to a location. I'm sending you the coordinates now. Perfect. Thanks, Belfry. Is that an ah. Outside the building. Ah, find that door. It will probably be well hidden. Remember the court rhyme. The court of owls is watching. 
from inside Gotham's walls. Copy that. Blowing, check. Creepy, check. This is probably the door. Might I suggest a quiet approach? If you're spotted, any files you plant will be suspect. Thankfully, Nightwing's on the job. Free. I'm inside. Place is quiet. Some kind of court hideout. Strange location for it. Any indication of what they were doing there? I'll take a look and let you know. if we have anything on that. Belfry, do you have anything on a murder case with a victim named Moreno? Of course. The brother of Elena Moreno, a local judge. She took a leave of absence from the bench directly afterward for family reasons. The Court of Owls was behind it. I'm gonna see if I can find anything else. Belfry, seems the court ordered a hit at the Chelsea Tunnel. Construction on the tunnel was shut down when the site was declared unsafe. It smells like a cover-up to me. The Court of Owls is hellbent on keeping that site secured. Heading there now. Take care, and keep us updated.
tunnel, Belfry. It looks like they uncovered some kind of chasm down here. I'm going into it. Comms will probably cut out, but don't worry. I'm a big boy. Copy that. What is this place?
these monsters never seem to quit. Whatever they're after down here must be worth a lot to the court. Nothing left here. Something here that has some of the ore in it. Extraction room. Perfect. Okay, but I'm not leaving empty-handed. This equipment must be good for something. Samples. Probably something in here that'll tell me what they're after.
Someone will have fun studying this at the Belfry. Understand your place. We earned our power. We shaped Gotham into the great city she is today. We are the protectors, not you. You're just bats. And I'll devour bats. Time to go.
am I now? Locked. Probably caved in on the other side. This gets weirder by the second. Here's hoping that's the way out. Are you there, Belfry? We seem to have you back, Nightwing. Are you all right? Always. Found a fun thing while I was down there. Ever heard of something called Dionysium? And Belfry's gone. You take forever to do the simplest of tasks. We have things to discuss. Come find me. The Court of Owls is watching, from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow, and they rule you, one and all. You knew. All along you knew, and you never told Bruce about the threat to Gotham. When I was still part of the League, we observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They're mining something. Something that seems like it might come from a Lazarus pit. A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. For centuries, the court has been looking for a fountain of youth. Instead, they found the makings of undying monsters. Guess we know how the talons are cooked up then. Thanks for that. But, why leave the court digging? Why not offer them a Lazarus pit? Then control them from the inside. <laughs> Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such banality. And the court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus Pits. You don't treat the Lazarus Pits any different than the court. Oh, those are some harsh words. After all, your friend Jason benefited. What about what he wanted? Jason had no say in what you did to him. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. You don't get to talk about gratitude right now, Talia. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. 
The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. I know you, Talia. You just want us to get rid of the voice so you can do whatever you want. What's your endgame here? I'll do what I can to distract the League. And your path to the Court of Owls will be clear. Oh, this is how Montoya feels. Hey, Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, they've been digging down there for centuries. Give us a listen, Alfred. Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the Talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions. But free will's as good as gone. So what is a Talon exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Feral zombie. Sounds like Jason, all right. <laughs> I recognize a voice. The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if- We match what we have against the live voices. Fun, but how do we find these jackasses? Two words, Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade, the event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich, dress up, and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. With so many of Gotham's elite together, security at the Masquerade will be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party. I do believe we have a guest. Aww. That sounds like a stray cat. Must be pretty gutsy to get in here. It wouldn't be the first cat to find its way past the bat's walls. I would like to meet this cat. Have you met it? Not yet, but I suspect if we start leaving food out for him, we may find ourselves with a new addition to the bat family. I'll ask one of the others to pick up some gourmet stuff on patrol. The little of the cans, the tastier the food. Did I mention I can't wait to meet this cat? Don't forget that you have a rendezvous with Mr. Hendrix. Thanks for the heads up, Belfry.
court grabbed Hendrix. We've got reports of criminal activity. With luck, that's Hendrix. We need officers near the Gotham Naval Research Facility. It's easier when the bad guys show up for you. A lot of people who don't know any better. I had a feeling this day was coming. You wouldn't believe the things that I heard at the hotel. Probably why the court wanted you silenced. Shit, they're real? That explains the masks. Look, one of my guys was feeding them info. And you know what? You should probably have all the same intel too. Thanks for the drive. We'll take care of it from here. This city is going to the birds, I swear. Belfry, I dealt with the court. I got a data drive for the trouble. Excellent. Please return to the Belfry so we can evaluate next steps. Dispatch, we're close to the scene. Time to leave. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Rachel Ghoul attacking Batman, but I, I can't. 
can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Raish is... was a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. That is until he showed up. Bruce. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the League away from Gotham. I really miss it. Hotel. The balcony door should be open. That's your entry point. A penthouse? Come on. You could appreciate the lengths I go to for you a little more, sir. Belfry, I'm in. Time to listen in on some owls. Find out who's who. You could probably eavesdrop from the ballroom if you can find a good vantage point. Just make sure no one sees you. Ballroom's right there. No way all these people knew Bruce. I have the heart of one. No, I don't care what happened to you. You promised me a heart. 
I have to attend this banquet, but when I'm done, you and I are gonna have a chat with some of my associates. Why is this taking so long? The party will be over by the time they let us in. Are you always this impatient? I heard the Wyclips are coming tonight. They'd be stupid not to. would they put this here? Again with your stupid theory? You saw the elevator. The hotel doesn't have a place. Check on that. I wonder what that was. I'm sure it's... Let's have a look. We'll impress you. <laughs> Security systems are down. Nice. Don't forget, those guards are cord members, so punch away. No, leave me alone! There we go, a way in. Belfry, I'm heading inside the ballroom. Nice. Have you been to the hotel's east staircase? The one they sealed off? I hear it's haunted. That's what I heard too, strange noises, almost cries. And scratches in the walls? Ugh. <laughs> Look at this. Even in death, Wayne tries to outdo us. Let him have his final hurrah. After tonight, it won't be a problem. You're right. His death ought to be a celebration. What do you think this is? That's a few matches. We're gonna get them all. Did you sign the guest book? How could I not? I've got people to impress. Did you see some of the names in there? I did. Senators, judges, CEOs, even the mayors here. What do you mean you won't see me? I'm the goddamn mayor! I'm afraid his schedule won't permit it. You tell Colonel Kane that I won't be frozen out. My office demands respect. Of course it does, Mayor Sai. I'll relay your message. Is this all they could muster for the great Bruce Wayne? It's embarrassing. When I go, it'll be a spectacle. Fireworks, dancers, ice sculptures, the works. Did you hear about Langstrom's assistant? He deserved to be... let go. Just like Kirk, people forget their place. The voice remembers. Where is the voice? I thought I told you that formal wear was required this evening. This is formal wear.
hard to believe Bruce Wayne is gone. I know. I was hoping to be a state this year. Business is good. Great evening. Who would have thought this would give the rest of us such a kick in the pants? Sorry to interrupt, but it's time. Ah, of course. We'll have to continue this later. Not so easy to hide now, is it? Attention. It is my absolute pleasure to present our host for the evening. Jeez, have a little subtlety. That's gotta be the voice of the court. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. match. Holy crap, that really is the voice of the court. Awesome. If you follow him, we might be able to figure out who he is. more Dionysium to meet their production deadline. I'm aware. Arrangements are being made. Let them know that I expect the quota to be met. No excuses. Thank you, sir. Is it? You know I can't take phone calls when I'm working.
are the arrangements made? If it pleases the court. Excellent. I'll see you downstairs. disappeared in an elevator. I lost him. Yep, I've lost the signal here too. Looks like he was between two floors when it went out. Nightwing, we just found a hidden 13th floor in the hotel blueprints. Maybe that's where the voice went. It's a D minor followed by... Ah, never mind. Secret 13th floor, here I come. Belfry, I got a door here. Definitely court branded. Understood. Tread carefully. the Court of Owls has to hide. Where'd you go, Mr. Voice? Belfry, any thoughts on where I can find the voice? Belfry? And comms are cut off. Great. Sorry to cut your meeting short, people. Now, what exactly were you looking at? Right. The court had Langstrom killed. 
This briefing could do some real damage to the court if we can get it to the authorities. But there's still plenty to clean. Destroy everything. Everyone named here. All these people are either dead or missing. This must be a hit list. You are only an owl of the court. So long as you remain loyal to the court. This is a history of Gotham's architecture. I guess the court was involved in all of these buildings. Now what next? Makes sense. Different types of power in the city. The court would want to control that. Of course. I should have known it was evil. It's high time we talk. Let's get this over with. Go to the painting. So you made it here, all by yourself. I'm not letting you or the court destroy Gotham. Destroy Gotham? No, we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. Yeah, sure. You're just like every other masked villain. I'm not the one wearing a mask. Richard. Jacob Kane. But how did you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just... Our court is quieter about it. People of Gotham may not be perfect, but they don't deserve this. You're destroying the city, not saving it. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends. The same enemies. It's... Madness, you're not serving us. I don't murder people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. You killed Kirk Langstrom and his assistant. That doesn't help Gotham, that helps you. Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce used his money to fight for this city. You used it to help yourself. Bruce would have hated you for that. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. We are nothing alike, Kane. Understood. 
I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. Clearly, I have bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. Should get back to the ballroom. Just crashed the party. Understood. Paramedics have been called. Kill me. How did you do that? You're not leaving here alive. You're going down. Huh? Oh, People were innocent. Let's go. Nightwing. I take it you heard what happened at the hotel. Saw it all firsthand. I was there. Yeah? Then care to tell me who the hell those assassins were? That was the League of Shadows. They're bad news. I'll send you our files.
the slaughter of some of our best and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the Commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe, Isabella Haas, Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the league. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. No one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. Then let's be ready when we're caught in between them. <laughs> <laughs> 